Hey everybody, what is up? Fourth Serif here. Today we are going to go over Maxian Solar Technologies. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about it in my Sun Power videos, so shout out to you guys. Appreciate the comments. Would love to um, get any more stocks that you guys want to hear about as well. Love doing deep dives on this and kind of looking into some different companies. And this one is odd, to be honest. Um, so Maxion was a spinoff of SunPower. The company basically split. And Maxion still worked directly with them, supplying some of their panels. But it's kind of been unclear because from what it sounds like, Maxion does not make all of SunPower's panels. They do some of it. SunPower still did some production. Um, Maxion is headquartered in, like, Singapore. Uh... So it, it seemed to take a lot of the international business. I still can't find the legitimate reason why they actually split. I'm wondering, uh, and this is all speculation, but I think I, I think one of the big investors knew what was happening at SunPower and basically said, hey, let me take some of the IP, take some of the technology and split off and separate myself uh, from you guys, um, but then has somehow still run uh, the company completely into the ground it is down 99.45 percent that's bad that's really bad but at the same time i kind of can't understand exactly why uh maybe because of the connection to sun power but from a numbers perspective okay right they're in a nine million dollar market cap. Okay, their their earnings. If we go over here, their earnings were a hundred and eighty seven million. Now they lost eighty million dollars, but this company is generating revenue. Okay, if we go to December twenty twenty three, two hundred twenty eight lost up one eighty six, two twenty seven lost a hundred, and then back. When things were still good in the solar market before rates were too bad, uh, if we go back to July, which again, right, this is this is reporting previously, so it, you know these are the earnings like ending in July of, of a year ago. Uh, you know, three hundred forty-eight million, they lost one point five million dollars, so almost profitable. Uh, seem to be doing pretty good. Uh, they do seem to miss their earnings. I mean, ten percent, six percent. That's not exactly what you uh, want. You know, you, you even if you're losing money, you still want to be hitting your earnings. Uh, you know, I can understand a drop after something like this. Like, that's a huge miss right there. Um, you know, something like this over in fall 22, uh, That that's not as bad. Um, I'm sorry, quarter four. So I guess winner of, of 22. Uh, you know, you want to be close though. You don't want to have this huge gap in them. But I mean, he here's the thing, okay, right? It's down a lot. It will take a hit from Sun Power um, if they go out of business. Uh, you know, they, they were buying a lot of panels. Uh, and so their big challenge is going to be profitability, right? Because if they can make themselves any type of profit at a hundred million dollar in revenue, then they're super undervalued. So SunPower basically took over the U.S. market. They did sell some, you know, they were supplying stuff to SunPower, um, but they do they they focus their business mostly internationally. So is there a chance that they just work with someone else in the U.S. and there's no drop in business there? That's totally possible. Um, you know, is the solar market overall going to recover? Probably as interest rates go down um, and as, uh, you know, if gas gets 10% more expensive, if, you know, coal gets 10% more expensive, if any of these things go up, like solar is getting cheaper while other things are getting more expensive. So Solar does have a bright future. I know some people were like, oh, solar's done. Solar's not done because uh, people were embezzling money at SunPower. Uh, they certainly don't have the pull 
to destroy an entire industry. Uh, it, listen, if crypto can survive Sam Bankman Freed funneling a bunch of money to his ugly girlfriend, uh, then I think the solar industry is going to be okay with a bunch of idiots doing insider trading. That's nothing new to the world of business and finance. But this company does make me nervous. Now, the first thing I looked at was, are there any crossover between the board and the executives and anything like that? And no, thank God. But is this a buy? It's hard to say. It's hard to say how uh, SunPower is going to affect their business. It's hard to say if they're going to be profitable because... You know, some of the products they manufacture are like the solar roof type products um, that I don't know how much those will really catch on Com as opposed to traditional, uh, you know, solar panels. Because solar roofs are cool, but I think they got to partner to make it a thing. They have to partner with a big builder to get them to commit to like, we're going to do this on the next 10,000 houses we build and make it a thing make people like see it as normal and want it and because right now no one building a house that's not like a weird hippie nerd in california is thinking about this at all no one outside of california arizona it, it care you know you have to make the rest of the country care about solar or not care they have to it just has to be a product that they accept as normal, right? You know, Fitbits came out and it was only for fitness people. So, so like most people were never going to buy one because people weren't super into fitness. But then Apple Watch came out and made basically the same product with a few more features, but it was like just for the average person. And, and so now everyone has some type of wearable technology except for me because I'm not going to use it because it's stupid. But that's what we need for solar, right? For your type of, if, if you're going to have a solar roof or whatever your product is, you need that Apple Watch that just appeals to an average normal person where you don't have to like be on some weird political bent to want it. It's just, yeah, this is just a normal product, solar roof, it's going to save me money. It's a normal option. It needs to be normalized. The more it's normalized, the more these solar companies win. Um, you know, quick shout out to whoever bought this when it IPO'd at $32.40. My uh, thoughts and prayers are with you. I'm sending good vibes. But uh, at $0.17, cents, might be a buy. Am I going to put $10,000 into this stock? No. Do I think it could double or triple in the next couple of years? Potentially. I think if they have a couple of profitable quarters, a couple of decent quarters, I, I think the stock price recovers. Um, you know, it, it seems like they're not going to have the financial issues SunPower had. It seems like they're going to, you know, be a much broader market. Um, it seems like, you know, they, they may have better direction. And it seems like this stock is suffering more than it needs to be from the sun power news. I mean, you know, it, uh, you know, I, I don't know if this is just getting shorted like crazy as well. I haven't looked into that, um, but you know, it's pretty beaten down. And I mean, come on, it's, it's gotta be worth more than $10 million. The, like they could sell the company, the technology that they have for probably 50 million to someone else. So, you know, it's definitely not, I, I don't think at, te, at a $9 million, $9.9 .9 million market cap, I don't think it's a terrible investment. Um, do I think that this is your retirement? Uh, you know, you throw in a couple hundred bucks and it's gonna, you know, make you millions? Uh, probably not. I think solar is going to be something that it slowly recovers and probably over the next 20 or 30 years performs fairly well. Um, but I think we need to stop thinking about solar as this is the, you know, 100x really quick thing because it just seems like it has gotten beaten down. Um, you know, I thought SunPower had potential for that, 
but only because the stock was so shorted and at the time we didn't know anything behind the scenes. Um, what we learned from SunPower is that people behind the scenes had a lot of information that we didn't and there was a reason for the short. It wasn't just that people didn't like the stock, right? And so is this beaten down because the insiders know something that we don't? I'm leaning towards yes. At face value, there's nothing we know that explains the valuation that this company is at. It doesn't make sense. That being said, there's got to be a couple skeletons in their closet for it to be beaten down this badly. Because if a stock drops 90%, like, you'd think, you know, that's going to make people look at it and go, okay, maybe there's something there. But it's down 99. Four, five percent. Just to be clear, I personally know someone who could buy out the company if it's only worth nine point nine million. That's just like people I know. So that's weird. That is weird. I'm a, I'm gonna buy hundred shares. I'm gonna buy 100 shares. You know, markets are closed right now. But I'm gonna buy 100 shares tomorrow. Um, you know, let's just see what it does. I say, let's see what it does. You know, um, let's look at. Let's just look at. I haven't even ever looked at the options. I, I'd be curious to see um, if people think there's any. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Cheapest option sells at, at, at 50 cents. Um, they should do a reverse stock split. Is what they should do. Hey guys, do a reverse stock split. Be a good idea for you. Um, you know. But, uh, yeah. Oh, to get to $1, uh, yeah, let's go up 461%, please. Yeah, so there, there, there's no options. All the options are worthless. But, hey, you know, let's, throw, let's, let's buy 100 shares. Why not? Why not? Uh, maybe 200. Let's, I'm going to buy some shares. I don't care. I'm going to buy some shares. Let's just YOLO into this thing. Um, and let's hope that... Hey, they, they, you know, are able to, they do seem to typically miss their earnings. Um, but, you know, hopefully they can correct that. Again, they've been close to profitability. Um, so I think that they potentially have something here. Um, it seems like their product is solid. But, you know, solar's not in a great place right now. Uh, and, you know, if you're looking for that crazy potential, I mean, obviously this is the most beaten down stock. So, you know, having a small percentage of your portfolio in something that could have amazing returns, why not? You know, especially if you're young, make, make some risky plays. But, you know, what's the risk on this? 10 out of 10. You know, it's, it's down 99.45%, right? This is a company that, you know, I, I don't know how much cash they have in the bank. I don't know whatever. I don't know how soon they have to be profitable because um, that can definitely play into it too. Like, a company losing 10 million that has 500 million in the bank is a lot different than a company losing, you know, 180,000, but they only have 200 grand in the bank, right? Uh, but listen, do you own this stock? Are you buying any? I'd love to know. Um, you know, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It, there's not a ton of, there's not as much deep dive I can do on this company compared to others because it's just a lot smaller company. There's not as many news articles for me to read and different stuff like that. Um, every single other video I found on this was just technical analysis of their chart. Uh, that was all wrong. And, uh, you know, so hopefully you have a little bit more background on this company, um, where it's at, how long it's been around, all that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, give me a subscribe if you don't mind. Helps me out a lot. Leave a like, um, and a comment too. That helps me out tremendously. I really appreciate all the, uh, support I've got on the SunPower videos. Uh, you know, I, I kind of transitioned my channel like years ago. I was doing gaming and stuff like that and then started doing fashion. Um, and this channel's really always just been about the things that I'm most interested in. Business, finance, fashion, things like that. But the, the finance videos were kind of new for me. Uh, so to see them already doing pretty well is super encouraging. Um, you know, I'm really working to get a, a nicer setup right now. I'm, I literally, I, my laptop is on a cardboard box. Uh, so, you know, I'm roughing it, but I'm working to up the quality, do everything I can to make these as good as possible for you guys. So I really appreciate all the support you've been giving me. 
Till next time, guys, I will see you on the trading floor.